my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what can make a planet's surface change. So a great way to look at this is to look at some surface that we know hasn't changed and kind of see how is it different from us. The perfect example for this is the moon. The moon has uh, the, the ground has been the same from the formation period. So what does the moon have that we don't have and vice versa? So the first thing that we have that the moon doesn't have is an active core. So the moon does not have uh, the same uh, layers that we have. And we have a solid core and a molten core. And due to this activity in the core, it leads the, uh, it, it creates a lot of vibrations in the planet. A lot of this stuff uh, takes form of earthquakes and so forth. And all of these things can actually lead to the landforms changing. So oftentimes you get these trenches. I mean, we, we knew about Pangaea and how things, continental masses break and form different mountains. So that's one way, having an active core that leads to some sort of tectonic activity. Now, another important thing to, uh, that can change your landform is impacts. So we've seen like, uh, crater impacts that leave a giant hole, it can change the landform forever. So the other thing is impacts. Uh, another important thing that we have that the moon doesn't have is wind. So we have wind and little by little the wind can cause the ground to erode. So this leads to a lot of erosion and erosion drastically can change the landform of a planet. The other thing is weather. So we have rains, storms, uh, a lot of the good weather coming to the surface and it can lead to uh, carving in the surface and so forth. So we can have liquid carving. And this is how we get our river systems and so forth. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and these are some things that can change the landform of the planet. Music